My name's Sarah. First off, I'd like to say thank you guys for being such a big musical inspiration. And I've noticed that your sound and your lyrics have grown so much, but yet you're still keeping the unique of sound. Where do you see it going in the future? Ooh, that's a really tough one. Don't give me any leeway to start off with an easy one or anything. Um, Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a hard, it's a hard, the punchline's a hard answer. I'm not really sure where we're headed. I always want to keep a totally open mind so that, you know, wherever your heart goes, the music can go. I think that's the important thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've grown a ton. Um, since the beginning, for sure, it's been over 10 years for me. So, um, <laughs> thanks. I always want to be open to grow and to evolve and, and to change completely. Thanks. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I can hand the mic over to whoever, too, if you have a big crush on Tim or something. Hi, Amy. Uh, my name is Alfredo, and uh, you just played my favorite song, uh, The Only One. Yes. And I was wondering, what was the inspiration for that song? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? Um, it's weird. I think it was inspired by a lot of things. The lyrics were um, really about a lot of my youth, where I felt like I was in a very small town. I was in Little Rock, Arkansas, where a band formed and everything. Um, and I felt very different from everyone around me. Uh, it became really apparent in uh, places like school and church. Um, I just felt like nobody got what I really wanted to hear, I guess. Um, you want the truth, you want the real answers, you want the meaning of life, and you're just getting spoon-fed stuff that's, that's easy to swallow. So, um, I don't know, I guess the song is about growing up and realizing you have to kind of find the answers on your own and not just listen to everybody who you think knows what they're talking about. Um, <laughs> thanks. Um, but yeah, Terry and I just kind of just, I don't know, wrote music till very, very early in the mornings when we were writing The Open Door, and I remember just writing forever and being so excited about that song and thinking it was the first single and like, it's the best song in the world and, I don't know, eating a lot of food and just being stupid. So, um, we love the song very much. I'm glad it's your favorite. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can she talk? Everyone. Now? Hi. Okay. Hi. My name's Melissa, Hi, and Melissa. my question is for everyone. Okay. I want to know what is your most prized possession, and what is the story behind it? <laughs> <laughs> what's your most prized possession, and what's the story behind it? Troy, why don't you go first? Thank you very much. I'm very nervous. Um, Not as nervous as I am. My most prized possession, I guess, is my kid. I got a two-year-old, and he's the world to me. Uh, I don't want to go. I really hate taking my No, I have plenty of those. <laughs> my most prized possession is the band and my friends and y'all. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you very much. Um, my most prized possession is my daughter. And uh, the story behind that basically is when two people get together. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I don't think I need thank the you person. Guys. Actually, you, all you guys are. So. <laughs> wow, I just splashed water all over the floor. Um, what, Terry? You have to talk? Are you ready? No. Oh, you want me to stall? Yeah. Um... I feel like such a loser. Um, my most prized possession, I don't know. Um, let me think about it. I know I should say my husband. I want to say my husband. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I know that's it. I don't want to be cheesy. I just got married six months ago, so I'm still kind of on cloud nine about it. Haha, uh -huh, you have to go. Play music. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Amy. Hey. My name is Amy. 
Hi. Cool. Lynn Hansen, same middle first name, sorry. Okay. Anyway, um, if you did not pursue your love of music and your incredible talent, best talent ever, um, what would you, what other pursue of passions or interests do you have that you would like to follow instead? We do now. Okay. No music at all involved. I, cool. No, wait, I'm asking. Is that okay. if I can't no, have I like, I like the contingencies. That's great. No music involved. Okay. Music involved? Well, if it just wasn't Evanescence, I guess. Um, I love kids. I'd probably be a music teacher or like choir professor or something. I, you know. If it wasn't music at all, yes. okay. I'd be a chef. Can you cook? Well, I would. I love cooking. I've learned I love cooking almost as much as I love making music. It's so fun for me. Wow. I'm totally trying to talk to the cool people at the Food Network and get my own show. Yahoo!